So today we will cook some diced pork. Use it parts from the part rest from the pork chop pork chop. So I trim it and just use it. those parts. We will use it just for the get the taste. And then I will take it off. Then we have nice diced here. This is herbs, very aromatic. I will put it in. It's called it's similar like uh, uh, like a maggi or something like this, but it's natural. It's, it's herbs. Brown sugar, I don't like to use the white one. And sea salt, coriander, uh, wild mushroom. I soak them in the hot water to get it soft. Fresh tomato, I don't like to use the thin tomato because they are not natural. And if it's needed, then some melted already butter and I use it virgin olive oil. So basically, okay, I open the oil and we put it in just to get a little bit marinate. A little bit of these lovely herbs. This, a bit of sugar, not much, just to get caramelized. Salt, not much. And then coriander. This coriander is actually amazing because I actually brought it from one of my trip in Morocco. So a little bit more. It's nice and aromatic. And then we'll just mix it. We don't need it much. So it's ready. Now it can be rested. And then I have here the pot for cooking the meat and pot for cooking the pasta. So this is gonna be basically like a home style cook in my channel. So everything what you can do it at home. As you can see I do it at home, not in the restaurant. So, so. okay now we will very simple to the onion. You can dice the onion in any pieces that you like, you know. So you hold the knife this way. It goes like this. This part you don't have to use it. Now we have carrots here. I just try to make it. Give them some sweet the fruit. So we light it on the, the fire. Here for the water for cooking obviously we need we need some salt to get a taste in the pasta and just like boiling. Just warm it up. And we can just cover to fast cook and fast cook it faster and save the energy as well. So we have prepared the carrot and onion. Tomato they will go on the end. Or later, not on the end, but later. So Already 
like this. And uh, maybe like this. Put a little bit more. A little bit more. If you don't have a vegetable oil, you can use a vegetable. If you don't have olive oil, you can use the vegetable oil or the oil you like it. So now we will come. So let's be careful because they were frozen. So just little you know, pieces. It doesn't matter which kind of pieces. Then organic those tomatoes and put them in the freezer then later I take them out and leave them first and cook it okay. so we come out we continue sweating the, the onion and the carrot. Now we put the fatty one, the plant. Some people like it to eat it as well. So it's everything up to you what you can use it as what you eat it. So I will not say that it's bad, but it's everything up to you. So now we leave it like this. But we have still the rest. So we are continuing. Now it's already starting smelling nice. And now we will put the rest of the meat. And leave it just doing them so because of the sugar inside a little bit, so it will kind of caramelize. It will get a taste, it will get a color and everything will need it. About the pasta, you can do with your own pasta, homemade pasta, as I did last time. It's simple, but I don't have a time that much, and I want to make it easy for you as well, so you can buy just pasta and cook it in the water. Very simple. Here are the lime mushrooms. They were soaked in the hot water. If you have them dry, you can keep them in the freezer or in outside. So you just put it in. Get a taste. Okay. Let's see if it is. This way you can do it with mashed pasta, you can do it with rice, you can put inside potato, you have a nice amount of stew. You can do it in many different ways, you know. It's everything up to you. You can do it even with a roasted and fully love it with mix, so it's everything up to you. So just roast it and leave it like this. You don't need much sauce because of the potato, or because of the pasta, actually, I'll cook this one. And then just when it's ready, then I will just mix it with the pasta. I will show you later. So we are continue on the pork. 
and by the time I put over the pasta in just to, to cook it gently and So the meat is almost done, it's tender. Pasta is getting more, a little bit more, a few more minutes and it will be done. And this is as well, almost done. I will put just a little bit more water, a little bit more water to get it. some juice of it, but no flour, I don't like to use the flour. So I take it out of the fatty parts and it's up to you if you want to use them or eat and just give it to your cup or dog There's everything on you. Now we have only the the diced part here and this one and there's some parsley the stalk as well they are nice and sweet once you strain the pasta don't wash with water with cold water leave it like this and then you will mix it with the meat and then it then it's done so the meat is ready and I just switch it off like this and you can pick it up some meat from here as well it's up to you and then we add on just the pasta mix it together a little bit salsa and then we put some meat You can put it on the top parmesan cheese if you wanna by serving and herbs, any kind of if you like it. I love salt, pepper, parsley or coriander, fresh basil. And you can eat. You see it's ready. You can see the mushrooms, you can see the carrots, the meat, everything. And it's easy. Thank you for watching my channel. And I wish you enjoy your food.